Boathouse on Valentine's night having a romantic dinner for two. We actually left the boys at Magic Kingdom because we're like, it's adult time now. I already had a Bloody Mary at the bar waiting for our table, so I'm feeling kind of good. And uh, he's starving, so he's just like waiting for the food to get here. <laughs> so yeah, so we built the kids of Magic Kingdom. We're like, see ya. And we are here enjoying ourselves. It's a beautiful night. No better way to spend Valentine's Day with your honey than at Disney. And we're out at the boathouse. We ordered two main lobster rolls. Uh, I got the oysters on the half shell, of course. And he didn't get an F1, right? No, he's like, just give me the food. But, FYI, the main lobster roll here comes with fries. But uh, you can substitute it for stuff. Uh, he substituted for uh, baked potato with all the fixings, so you can. Even though it doesn't say you can, just ask. You can. When we were leaving Magic Kingdom to come here to, uh, for our uh, reservation, we got stuck in this massive rainstorm. I'm talking, it was just like a little sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. It was, it was like, it's like torrential downpour, like water was going sideways, and he was on a scooter. His shoes are so... Um, I was walking shooting the scooter. Well, Left. oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. I did, okay. He lent me the scooter. Hey. He was on the scooter all day. My feet are killing me. My back is aching. He offered, actually, I didn't take any offer. And he's trying to act like I'm like being all like stingy or whatever. But as I was on the she scooter. He pushed me out of it and said, fat boy, get out. It's time for me to ride. Oh, there goes my Cinderella hat. Ears. All right, we're going to fix that later. So I lost the Cinderella ears there. Okay, no. Here's our lovely romantic candle. It's my birthday. Um, no. He offered the scooter to me. I said, why yes, because I'm in lots of pain. Anyways, as we, we took, so this is a, this is a disappointing thing that I hope Disney does fix, is that when you're at a park and you want to go straight to Disney Springs because you want to go for dinner, you know, or shopping or whatever, you can't. You have to take a bus from Disney Springs to, I'm sorry, you got to take a bus from the parks to one of the resorts and then switch to another bus going to Disney Springs. The only other way to do it is to take a bus from Mad you know, the parks and go to Saratoga Springs and then walk that pathway. There's a pathway to walk from Saratoga Springs when you get off that Congress Park bus stop to go to Disney Springs. But that's a, a lot of work and it's a lot of hassle and takes a lot of time. Um, there was a time in the past. It take us five minutes. No, 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 no. I don't mean the walking takes a lot of time. I mean the fact that you cannot take a bus directly from a park to go straight to Disney Springs. You have to go through a resort. In the past, Disney did have Disney Springs buses that came to the parks and picked you up and took you to um, Disney Springs. But they they stopped that. So I don't know if it's a COVID thing. It wouldn't make sense if it was a COVID thing. I think there's something else going on. So Disney, um, we kindly and respectfully ask you to please bring back the transportation. And it wasn't just us. There was a, um, a group last night that, that was trying to get to Disney Springs. It was a bridal group. It was a bridal group last Very night. Very fun. Very fun. Intoxicated women. <laughs> Who were falling over no. railing, <laughs> but having a great time while doing it. They, they, hey, who am I to We were at Epcot. Of we were at Epcot, and this bridal group, very nice people, the nice ladies. I think they had a few too many, and they did fall over the rail, which, but they're okay. One. One. One of the one. Tried pack. to jump over the Pull rail the to get to get to the bus that we were going on. And she did a face plant, but she's okay, all is well. Well, we haven't talked to them this no, morning. No, I know this, but she was fine then. Um, you know, might have some bumps and bruises. Hey, <laughs> she's gonna if feel you're it. Watching this, you did all right. You felt gracefully. I mean, the way you tried to hurdle over um, the railing for the bus stop I, instead of walking through. I'm just saying that she's going to feel it today. I thought it was a thing of beauty. But she was fine last night, so it's all right. Anyway, so they were trying to get from Epcot, where we were, straight to Disney Springs so they can continue their celebrations. And congratulations, by the way, if you guys are watching this. 
And um, they couldn't, and they were disappointed, which I don't blame them. They had to go on our bus, go to Old QS, and then get off and then switch buses, and it's a whole thing. So please, please, you know. And last night, we would have- It's all good for stories. You gotta have stories. Okay, so stories last to tell. night- I got my own stories to tell <laughs> about. Last night, we were at Epcot, and we were starving when- <laughs> Last night, we were at Epcot, and we were starving when the park closed and we wanted to come to Disney Springs to eat. However, there was no bus going straight to Disney Springs. It was, we would have to go to a resort, wait for another bus, switch buses, then come to Disney Springs. And neither one of us or the boys wanted to go through all that. We just wanted to eat. We didn't want to go through a hassle. Therefore, we decided we're just going to go back to our room and we had all kinds of, you know, frozen foods and stuff. In the in the fridge, and we made like a frozen pizza and like a couple corn dogs. Advertisement: and We had DiGiorno. <laughs> we did have DiGiorno. Stuffed crust, pepperoni. Yes, and wow. then microwavable corn dogs from Walmart, and went to sleep. Five so Disney, star food. You would have made a ton of money on us because we would have come here and gone to one of your lovely restaurants and had a lovely dinner. But what you because about, <laughs> because there was no transportation directly from Epcot to Disney Springs, we didn't do it. We're like, that's too much. It's too much time to learn from a hassle. We just want to go straight home. We had DiGiorno. It, Why would we go to Disney Springs? It wasn't all that great. It was kind of like, it was kind of like we're starving. At that point, I'll eat like whatever. When you're at that point. Anywho. <laughs> that's all we have to say right now. That's all you have to say. I got a whole lot more. He does. He's been yammering he does have a whole lot more to say, but we're going to just have him talk to the hands and we're going to wait for our um, appetizers and then we'll get back to you guys with some food reviews. I could be back on the market, ladies. You never know. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, guys, my oysters on the half shell just arrived. I ordered half a dozen beautiful oysters on the half shell. It is my absolute favorite type of appetizer at a seafood restaurant. And they have fantastic oysters on the half shell here at the boathouse. And they actually have a menu just for the oysters so you can choose from a variety of types of oysters. This was their house special. And it comes with a uh, two sides. Um, this one is, um, uh, I think it was like a lime vinaigrette. And this one, Gosh, I'm thinking um, maybe horseradish and cocktail sauce. I have to ask. However, either way, this is a beauty, and I'm going to start digging in now. Okay, guys, dinner is served. This is the main lobster roll and a baked potato for Scott. It looks absolutely divine. Mine is the exact same thing, except... Let's see if we can get some light here. There we go, except mine is with fries. His is with a beautiful baked potato, and they bring the toppings on the side right there. Sour cream and butter. It's a little dark here, guys, sorry. So I gotta use, <laughs> I gotta use the candle. And I am almost done with my oysters on the half shell. And Scott is about to dig into this lovely dinner he has in front of him after he finished texting whoever he's texting. <laughs> Neighbor. <laughs> yeah. What am I doing now? You're going to eat. Yeah, I am. All right, dig in. Bon appetit. We finished the fabulous, wonderful Valentine feast. He's a happy boy because he got fed. And I'm a happy girl because I got my two Bloody Marys and I got my lobster roll. And well, what happened was that's just the bread of the lobster roll. I ended up eating, like it was huge. And I ate all of the lobster meat, but the bread got really filling. Not because it was bad, it was amazing. But I started to get full and I did not want to, you know, leave without eating all the lobster. So I just started eating the lobster and leaving the bread alone after a while. And also, the fries were really good. So I was eating quite a lot of the, uh, the, the carbs out of all of this. 
Uh, so that being said, uh, we there were two ways to order the lobster roll. Our server, who was awesome, told us there's a main lobster roll. If you get a regular style, it has like a tomatoes, lettuce, I mean it's like in a mayonnaise based kind of lobster mixture salad on the roll. If you get a Connecticut style, which I had never heard of and neither had uh, Scott, then and there's no lettuce and mayo and um, tomato, it's just big chunks of lobster steamed and then uh, they're like dunked in the butter, the melted butter and put on this lovely buttery roll. And so you get this big, huge, juicy main lobster roll already dunked in the butter. And it was, um, it was butter. It was, it just, it just like melted like butter. It was amazing. Was it amazing, Scott? Butter. Butter. All right. From now on, we're ordering Connecticut style. So order Connecticut style. If you like butter, like lob, like buttery lobster from Maine, Connecticut style. Yeah, when you go to Maine, you tell those Maine people, give it to me Connecticut style. <laughs> and then like, when what? you go to Connecticut, you tell them you want it the other way. Mm -hmm. Mix it up. Mix it up. Mm -hmm. Mix it up. Just be cray cray. <laughs> so, no rules. That's not rules. We're just chilling. We're just relaxing. We're chillaxing. Is that from the 80s? No, that's from the 90s. Like chillaxing. They don't say that anymore. Anyways, uh, anywho, awesome dinner. Awesome. Wonderful service. We had a wonderful Valentine's Day night here. The boys are still running around Magic Kingdom. We got some texts from them. And they're having a great time. And uh, after this, we're going to go cruising around Disney Springs, maybe do a little shopping. Shopping, you know how I feel about shopping. <laughs> yes, we are. He does. Yes, we are. We're going shopping. We are. <sighs> yeah, whatever. We're going shopping. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone, from Scott Penny. Thanks for watching Penny on the DL, and join us on our next adventure. I'm starting my own vlog. It's going to be called Scott on the DL, and it's going to be no serious, so don't look for it. So he's, he, um, I think he has a food buzz going on. See you on the next adventure. We're going to Animal Kingdom tomorrow. Be there.